What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and you are looking at a Curiosity rover shot. This is from Saw 035. And uh, it's a pretty amazing one, I think. This was sent from my buddy Billy. Uh, Billy D, I won't call him any more than that. I didn't ask him if I could use his last name. He just, some guy sends me some photos every once in a while. Found the page. I love it when you guys send me photos because, look, I sit here and stare at these things too. I've got a pile of, uh, I mean, there's probably 100 pictures I could do videos on. That's why if, I, if you guys have been sending me stuff and I haven't gotten back to you, I promise I will at some point and make your video. I'm not trying to ignore you I always try and write back but here we have something kind of interesting what makes this one really interesting is and it shouldn't be a long you know I love to hear myself talk from what everybody likes to hear <laughs> or say but um, this is not that sorry I don't want to make you sick this is not a huge picture and there's a lot of this sand in here and looks some of it looks fake to me there's but there's a lot going on right in here first off you start off let me show you where I got this from and uh, this, don't worry about trying to sit up here and kind of eye the balls up. Go down to the description. If you're not on YouTube, say you're on Before It's News or say you're on uh, um, Scott Waring's blog or something. Just hit the YouTube button at the bottom. Go to the description. You can click on this link plus all the links to my website, what's up in the sky com. A whole bunch of good stuff. A bunch of good Facebook places to go to. Um, I'm always trying to give out good information. So here we go. This one's for your collection. Download this thing today. Let's say the link's going to be in the description. And uh, let's take a good look at this thing here. So this is how it came from NASA. Not too much to it. Um, yeah, right. Look at this thing up here at the top. And I haven't done anything this to this yet. So I haven't sharpened anything up. This is kind of cool how this comes around. It's got a little bit of a, a circle to it around here. This kind of looks like a little being with a spacesuit or something looking around the corner. And I hate to start off by saying that, but it really does. I see what I see. You see what you see. Um, now, what I'm very surprised about is I don't see the blind effects on this one. It's like they didn't deem it here a little bit right here. Um, and you, if you watch my videos, you know what I mean. Um, usually when there's you know parallel lines, they run these little lines across them to break them up. Uh, but look at this in here. There's all sorts. This looks like B, P, um, like writing. There's an S down here. Wait do you see some of this stuff. Now, I've already enhanced it a little bit. I've done it in black and white. Here you can see it here, B. Let me, B. And, and it kind of looks like a P there. Um, now here is color match, and I'm going to do the color matching and show you guys what I mean by doing it to this one right here. Um, they give you something called the Molly, I guess that's called. This is on the rover, the Mars Hand Lens Imager. This is a calibration target. So this helps people get the color on Earth to see what it actually is. So I think they add this, that hue to it. And you're going to see what I mean after I do this. So this is image adjustments. Uh, we're going to match colors because we're going to match it from here. And uh, the source is going to be this bottom one, that, of course. And that's what it finds right away. And it changes. Like, that's how much information is in this picture. I mean, look at the difference. Let me do preview between that and that. Like, the blue comes right back out. Now, tell me that doesn't look like that color has been added to it to make it look, A, like Mars, and B, to hide some of the things that are on it. So... We're going to go ahead and leave it with it. Let's maybe take the color intensity down since they added that crazy color to it. Um, I don't want it to be black and white, but I do want it to have a little bit of that. Maybe about half. I'll fade it a little bit because the fading was what makes it, the other one come back. See that? Which is kind of neat. So basically set it at a decent rate. Kind of eye it up. Maybe get a little bit more luminous. And I think that gives us a good shot at it. Yeah, that looks good. I'll work with that one instead of the one. Here's what I got earlier from it. Not too much difference there. Um, you can see it's been sharpened up a little bit. Um, in the black and white, that's definitely needs to be darkened up a little bit. But let's start up here on this piece because this piece is where I found one of the most interesting. It's, I hope. You, I wonder if you guys see that as I move in, it kind of brings up some of these other these other layers. Now, here's how, let me switch back to here. I've already basically sharpened this one up a little more. You can really see what looks like B, P, or B, S, backwards S that comes down here. It looks like symbols, you know, weird symbols that you, you find somewhere. Um, here, there's some over here. 
and when we find things on Earth that are antiquity, you always find interesting things around it. It's amazing what, like, the carvings that you can see. And when there's not carvings, there's, say there's these really intricate carvings. I should, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start putting up some Earth comparisons on here from now on. I definitely need to start doing that. Um, but the weathering and stuff, you can see, still see the ornate stuff, but around it kind of looks like this does, kind of jagged a little bit. Um, here, look at this. Tell me this isn't hiding something. Where did that go? I mean, where's the where's the rest of it? You know, this was added. I, I don't think this sand should have been here. Um, and they make it so look how slow, look at well, look at the slop job that is there. Uh, you can see the little bit of color through there, but even uh, let's go ahead and, and see if we can't take that square. And uh, really run it through the through the uh, the smart sharpens and see if we can't sharpen that thing up. No, sharpen, sharpen. Uh, oh, hold on, that's why. I'm gonna do select. Here we go. Smart sharpen. No, see, you can kind of see it how it runs through there. It's up through there, but they've added that right on top of it, and they made it transparent a little bit, so you can kind of see what's under it. Um, see, you can kind of see what's under it, and what's under it is more and more patterns, more and more circles. Those are not JPEG artifacts. So as we're looking at this thing and we see all these pieces, look, look, look at this. It's got like a figure eight. It comes up. There's a circle with a dot in the middle of it. Here you've got like a three-prong piece going off of it, and this is the mass cam. Now this is no joke. It's not like the nav cam shots you get, and this is about as perfect as it could get for following. Look, look how many bevels we've got here. I would love to see nature do this because it's hard for for like we've seen some of this down in Puma Punku, and we can't even imagine how they begin to do it. So let's not even look at the fact that this all looks fake, like this sand's been added or you know, and taken some of these pieces out. We know that, you know, we don't. So we're never gonna know exactly what this is. But let's take a look at the beveling and stuff. So here's a big piece here that rides kind of a rail and it comes down. It looks like it's uh, it looks like it's getting a little bit wider as it gets up to the top, and it has this piece come off of it. it. Almost looks like wire. It goes up to the top, but look at here how this is cut out at a 90 and another 90. It's got one step down where you've got either circles or chain links in on it. Let me see if I can see that even better with the black and white. It's there. See that on top? And it goes down another level right there. It keeps dropping. See there it is right there. Drops down another level. But the whole time it's dropping, it's staying in the same 90 degree cutout as it would. And what you would expect, this thing's been sitting here most likely for a while. Now, how I think it or imagine this at one time, before the cataclysm or whatever happened, this thing was most likely sitting somewhere. It looks like on top of a roof of something. And it probably had this one up around here. Um, this might not even have been broken. This might have gone all the way over and came up as one big piece. See, it actually kind of does look broken off there. Um, but that's how I think it most likely would have been seen. And you can even see the S really good when you turn it like that. So let's keep on going to some of these other rocks in here because look at this piece now right here. And for so many little rocks in such a little area, this is why I think, look at this, comes up and over and looks like it goes straight under there. But let's see what we got here. This is a piece coming up along here. Um, once again, you got a blur mark. I could, I know that we're not in the right angle here because I can see that the blur marks are moving, not straight up and down. There it is. See, there we go. The blur tools. You got a little piece right there, and it looks like it's got something laying on top of it. But once again, you've got some pretty intricate stuff right here that gets cut off by this blur mark. As the blur runs all the way through here, you're missing what seems to be a piece that comes up like this and comes down. Once again, the blur. The blur! Where else do you guys see it on here? Now check this out. Just interesting a little round piece there on the corner. Almost a little 90 degree hole in there. Now, what's been done here? This looks chiseled out. It's just random. Something must have came and hit it, made these two circles right here, made this come around. It looks like it's been chiseled out or it's part of something. 
um, comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Is this, a, is this a trick of light right there? Is that really running up to the top of this? Some of this could be vegetation for all we know, just at the bottom of these moss. But look up there, you can even see it's got the circle and the rounded part. Here, like I said, this looks like it's broken off of something, but it's even got a little rounded thing on the top. And this one was just too cool to me. I don't know. It just looks intricate. <laughs> and like I said, this guy looks intricate too. Like imagine this being like a little breathing apparatus into his eyeballs. Here's his nose. Here's his cheeks. His arm. Here's like his suit. He's right up around his arm. And it comes down. Now this could be a root or something. Look, it comes up along here and winds into this. Look, see how much it winds. This is another little S-curve. Other little things like that. I mean, this, this stuff is just too... Two ornate and two in one place, not to not to make us think, hmm, did Mother Nature make that? More blurring as it comes down this, which is sad because there's some intricate little pieces to it. I can I can see it already. There's some intricate stuff. As we roll on down, look at this cool little piece. This has just got like a little round in it. It's got some things coming off of it. Once again, what do we have here? A nice little neat piece as it's just kind of sticking up. I would love to see below. That's exactly. And here, this I thought was cool too. This caught my eye. This was one of the first things that caught my eye because it looks like a mouth and it's got some teeth in it and it looks like the nose up here. And it looks like, let's see if I can do it again. It's so hard to do with this trackpad. Sometimes I can get to do it good. And it looks like it might have been sitting up like that way. Well, you know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe when I flip it over this way, maybe the... Uh, Maybe that's how it goes. Look at that. <laughs> Maybe I was totally wrong. Here you've got some other things. Look, little, little things in the hole there. Let me go back around here so I can get it back straight up right. How the, how the rover's cruising is how it is, right, guys? Um, and you got these just little things up here kind of roaming around. This, I don't know what to think about. Let me run you through the colors real fast. But it's got this little... Circle guy up at the top. It's rounded off. I don't know what to think about that, guys. You're going to have to tell us. There's just some anomalies all over this shot. And there's not much to the shot. Here, you got some blur. This almost looks like a little round cone cylinder or something. I see what I see. You see what you see. And then here was another interesting piece. It comes up to a point. It comes down. It's beveled. It's got this little piece that runs around. It comes up around here. And it comes right back up. And it looks to be like a little blur mark there. They sure love these blurs. So there it is, guys. What else do you see? Let me run through the uh, modes one more time. There's black and white for you. There's another one I came up with just while we just did that together. And that's what NASA sent. So what's up in the sky.com? Love you guys. My name is Will. Check out the website. So many good people are putting stuff on there. Not just pictures now. Not, not just YouTube. All sorts of articles, pictures. Peace. Oh, I got to go over here. Ha, <laughs> peace.